is all set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi auto mode. You know, this kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing! The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. Shit. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming! Say Germans aren't funny. My friend, your sacrifice will not be forgotten. There was quite a fall, Raiden. Raiden's alive? That you are all right. it's time you Seriously. How high was that? Anyway, slice him. Welcome back to the Let's Play, by the way. <laughs> I kind of got a little bit absorbed by the cutscene there. It's one of the coolest ones in the game. Also for the fact that Doctor is, quite possibly, my favorite character in the game. Ooh, his spine was hanging out. That was nasty. 
But this is Escape from Denver. It's actually the shortest mission in the game I can think of, come to think of it. Which is thankful, considering the last video clocked in at about, oh god, how long? An hour? An hour plus? Jeez. I apologize for those with a short attention span. But this will be quick and painless, I promise. In fact, this is going to be two missions wedged together. I can handle this. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies' company, yeah? How fortunate they are in Colorado, too. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than two hours with a set of wheels. Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked? If you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal, and what's left of it. Okay. Hopefully no more talky Kodaki bits after that. Because I've got a few moors to take care of. Oh, damn it. There was something I wanted to collect on this roof. I just hope it doesn't get destroyed before uh, these guys get to me. Damn it. Ah, I got it. It wasn't really worth the effort either. Damn. Damn, my blocking isn't up to snuff today. But this should be fun if I can get this to work. Bit of a callback to Metal Gear Solid 4 if you if you played that recently. But I found that I've been getting better and better at taking on multiple geckos. It's just a case of being aware of your surroundings and a good bit of timing. But those attacks are always tricky to avoid. They're not really all that well telegraphed. Anyway, Ripper mode. Also known as get out of jail free if you don't get kicked around by geckos. Hey, there we go. But the objective of this is just to get the hell out of Denver quickly as you can. With this particular battle as well, it's actually easier just to take out this guy in the middle rather than worrying about all the guys on the rooftops that are trying to shoot you. Whoops. Seriously, I just can't get the hanger hammer guys. They are one of the toughest guys to take, take down. And I don't seem to have enough blade mode to take off that arm. Damn it. Nah, it's gone. Oh well. Just gonna have to finish the job. Replenish that health, and as soon as this guy goes down, all the others jump down from the roof. Well, they should do at the very least. There we go. And it's just a nice bit of easy mop-up duty from there on in. I prefer taking these guys out as quickly as possible because, let's face it, nobody likes to be stuck in Denver. I apologize to all those who hail from Denver, but you know how bad it is. Seriously, I've never been to Denver, I'm just talking crap. Ah, missed him. He kind of survived that. No, no he didn't. <laughs> Let's hope this this damn barrier they never go down quick enough. Right, hurry. It may be an RLP, but it still needs time to accelerate and decelerate from first. Avoid geckos like the plague, especially dwarf geckos. They are just gonna annoy the hell out of you. Oh damn it. Seriously, there's a barrier? I'm gonna have to take these things on? Ugh. One of the most irritating little buggers in the game, this enemy. But you probably already know that. Come on, let me through. Now this part I found tricky because of the flyers. They're an absolute pain in the backside, so you might want to get your homing missile equipped. 
take these ones down as quickly as you possibly can. And I've only got one missile, which is a shame. Where's my targeting gone? Oh. They're really hard to take. Seriously, they just float around. Just out of sight. They're a real pain, and their attack is really hard to get the grip of. So let's see. There we go. We can take it from the back. And it's down. Good. That'll make the rest of this a little bit easier because there's a few walkers that are going to turn up. Right about now. And that's them dealt with. God, I love Ripper mode. We're going to take down a few of these dwarf geckos or tripods or whatever the hell they want to call them. And hopefully get some goodies out of this. Have you not blown up yet? Seriously, did that just give off an EMP? Swine! These things are still dangerous, even without legs. Ugh, barriers. There's always just far too many dwarf geckos to take care of. I've located the route with relatively light security. I will mark the heading on your soliton radar. Ah, damn it. Never mind. Ripper mode. Here yeah, I was thinking I was going to be nice and stealthy. But no. I still haven't been able to save a single civilian since I've started playing this game. Some would say that's probably bad form. I'm not too worried. But believe it or not, this is, um, this is the last part of the stage right here. It's that short. I will find a way to exit the helicopter. Proceed out of the city. I will contact you when I am on the ground. And we got another gorilla to deal with. And a few APCs are going to turn up. Oh boy. Let's see if I can get out of this headlock. One thing I do like, they actually make it feel like an effort to waggle those thumbsticks just to get out of those horrible, horrible headlocks. Also, a nice tip when you can't see a single thing. Just use the pole arm. It's got a kooky French name like L'Etranger or something like that. It means the stranger. But I just call it the pole arm because it's easier for me to say. And that is the end of the stage. Can you see why I'm splitting this up into two videos? <laughs> into two. Actually, no. Splitting two stages into one video. It'd be a waste if I made this two separate videos. You have escaped the pursuit? Seems like it. You have passed the last of the barricades. Save your strength. Find a vehicle. Right. That should do nicely. Okay, so that's over and done with. That's Denver well and truly behind us, but we're not out of Colorado just yet. So we're going to continue. Because there's a little bit extra. I honestly don't know why they didn't make this a single mission, but yeah. What the heck. Instead, we get a little bit of badass motorcycle riding. Oh yeah! Hells Angels, you got nothing on riding. Actually, no. Ignore that I said that. Please don't come and smash my windows and break my face. Thank you, Hells Angels. Everything okay on your side? I am out of Colorado airspace and nothing on the radar. Good. I'm almost there.
unable to ascertain his motivation. Uh, fancy meeting you here. You knew I'd come. I suppose I should thank you for not killing everyone at the launch site. <laughs> well, not if you say it like that. For a hired killer, you're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. Right. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me? <sighs> Forget it. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. I like this guy. Zero bull. Zero pontificating about philosophy and violence and let's just have a good old fashioned bloody fight. I appreciate a villain that doesn't want to talk me to death first. I don't care who thinks I'm right. And I've got cause enough for killing you. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Must you really fight? Don't interfere. But yeah. This is between us. This is a pretty tough fight. If you haven't learned how to block effectively by now, you're gonna have a bad time. Just and it ends here. wait and see. Okay. Let's dance. Oh boy. I may not be talking much because I'm gonna be focusing a little bit, so. Yeah, don't mind me. I haven't gone away. I'm still playing. The trick is to block like hell, believe it or not. And you've got to watch out for his multiple strikes, which means you've got to block him individually every time. And I'm not doing a great job of it. Did a much better job on my earlier run through, but oh well. But just when you think he's done attacking, Keep blocking. It's the only way you're gonna survive. And I'm already gonna lose a nano face by now. That's Reaper. Reaper mode! Anyway. I keep calling it Reaper mode. It's bloody Ripper mode. I don't know why I can't get this through my head. Oh god damn it. Yeah, this can be a rage inducing fight if you're not prepared for it. Come on, Sam. Make a move. He often waits for you to make a move first as well. And just while you're in the middle of your strikes, he will give you a really nasty, nasty slash. Like so! But now that I've got the failure out of my system, I seem to be doing a teeny, teeny, tiny bit better. Eating my words. Also, that's ninja slide dash attack. you got to be careful with how you use that. Because at a later stage in this battle, it may bite you in the backside, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Damn, I have no idea what just happened. But it was painful. Damn it! I'm blocking like every other strike today. There we go. Now this is the part you gotta watch out for. If you don't get it out of his hand, he's gonna get annoying. And if you do get it out of his hand, he's gonna be annoying. For reasons which I shall now demonstrate. He's basically gonna slam you into the ground quite often. And if you do a ninja slide, he's gonna toss you, like so. And I sacrificed a nano pace to show you that. Good grief. Those charge attacks don't block on the first signal. You've got to wait for him to get just about close enough. 
That's the key to successful blocking. I probably should have taught you all this in the, you know, early stages of the game, but let's face it, I was a bit rusty. And I still am. So, uh, enough demonstrating. I'm gonna shut up and play. Oh, bugger. 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 Damn it. But he does keep doing this quite often until you whittle him down far enough, so don't worry, you are doing the right thing in blocking him. You've just gotta get him down till he picks up his sword again. Uh, button bashy time! It was a double strike. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I was prepared for this, though. We're gonna try again. Hopefully this will let us go from midpoint of the battle. No, it's right from the start. Oh, buggery. Well... I'm just going to have to be good. This is what happens when I stop talking, I actually play well. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Knocking him down with the pole arm. It's the only thing that seems to have enough range. This one thing I like about this game, at least I can rock out while I'm getting my ass beat. Ah, oh, come on. Pick up your damn sword already. Shouldn't be too far off now. Here we go. I feel like I'm in a much better position than last time. The difference a bit of focus makes, eh? 
Let's see if we can finish this. Oh. Yeah, you gotta be real careful with that long range strike. Because he actually starts slashing about halfway through, not while he's in front of your face. So you gotta be super careful. Come on. Oh, it's pretty hard to see. I'm going to dash away. Oh, no. That wasn't so bad. Usually it kicks up a few boulders. Damn it! I was hoping I would have got through that without using a nano paste. Bit of boulder slashing. You know, just to spice things up a little bit. See if we can do this. Come on. Yes. That is how you beat the crap out of Jetstream Sam. So that was like a nice comparison there. Bad play. Half decent play. He was just that was damn good. Necessary. Evidence inconclusive. I guess even AIs don't know everything. It is likely no single correct answer exists. Additionally, human conflict stems from opposing ideals and societal norms. I was not programmed with these guidelines. You're better off figuring those out for yourself. Don't forget your motorbike. Oh. Oh well. So that was Denver and Jetstream Sam. Or what shall also become to known as Fear and Loathing in Denver, Colorado. Hope you've enjoyed this part of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. We're nearly at the end. We're not too far off. We've got a few surprises in store if you've never played this game before and you're somehow watching this atrocious Let's Play. But thank you for watching either way. This has been Mr. Icarus. Take yourself.